Welcome to another one of my math riddles. My name is Chris Sieber. I'm the creator of all the videos here at Math Meeting. And I want to help you guys as much as possible by making as many math videos as possible in all subjects of math. Um, and here we have a riddle that I thought was really fun. And in this riddle, it says that arc ARC is a quarter of a circle with a radius of six. All right, and inside this quarter circle, we have a rectangle QRST, uh, which is inscribed um, inside this quarter circle. All right, and we know that the length and width of that rectangle um, added together are equal to six. And the question for this riddle is what is the perimeter of the shaded area? All right, so take your time, work on this problem, and I will show you the solution in five seconds. All right, so the only thing we need to do to find the solution for this riddle is add all of the sides together. And that's the idea of the perimeter. A perimeter is just adding all of the sides of any shape. All right, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to add arc ARC with side TC, with side QT, and with side QA. All right, so let's start with arc ARC. All right, and we know that the length of arc ARC is equal to one quarter of the circle because that was given to us at the beginning of the problem. And we know that the perimeter of a quarter of a circle is two pi r. All right, we know that the radius of the circle is, is six. So we can substitute for the perimeter of the circle two times pi times the radius of six. All right, so we just plugged in our formula for the perimeter of a circle, two pi times r radius of six. All right, and if we multiply all of this together, one quarter, uh, multiplied times the parentheses 2 pi times 6. Um, this all simplifies to 3 pi. All right, so we know that the length of arc ARC is equal to 3 pi. Um, so let's substitute this value of 3 pi into our original equation. All right, so now that we've found the length of the arc, now let's move on to our next part of the equation. All right, so now let's find the lengths of sides TC and QA. And we'll start with the side TC. All right, and we know that the side TC is equal to the length of SC minus ST. And let me show you why this is true. Um, if we take the length of the side SC and we subtract it from the length of side ST, notice how the only thing we're left with is side TC. Okay, this is the only thing we're left with. All right, so that's why this is true. You know, TC is equal to SE minus ST, and we can do the same thing for uh, the this, this side QA over here. All right? So we know that side QA is going to be equal to SA minus SQ using this same concept. All right, so now let's take a look at SC and SA. We know that SC and SA are both equal to the radius of the circle. Just take a look. We have SC which is the radius of the circle, and we have SA, which is the radius of the circle. All right, so we know since they're the radius of the circle that the length of both these sides is going to be equal to six. All right, and if we simplify this, we know that six and six is equal to 12. Six plus six is equal to 12. All right, so this is gonna be simplified to 12 minus the values of ST and SQ. All right, so once again, this simplified to 12 minus the, the sum of ST and SQ. Um, so now let's take a look at ST and SQ. We know that ST and SQ are the length and width of the rectangle because we have ST right here, which is the width, and we have SQ right here, which is the length of the rectangle. All right, so we know that this is the length and width of the rectangle. And in the original problem, it was given to us that the length and width of the rectangle is equal to six. All right, so just to show you guys that I'm not lying, here in the original problem it says the length and width of the rectangle are equal to six. All right, so now let's go back to where we left off. So now that we know the length and width of the rectangle are equal to six, we can plug in a six for st plus xq. All right, so now we have 12 minus six. So we know that tc and QA, if we add them together, we have 12 minus 6, which is equal to 6. All right, and let's plug this value of 6 in for TC and QA. 
So I'm going to erase TC and QA and replace them with a 6. All right, so now the only thing we have left to find is QT. So what is the length of side QT? Well, it's the radius of the circle. And now I'm going to show you why QT is the radius of the circle. And notice how QT is the diagonal of this, rect of this rectangle. All right, so QT is the diagonal of this rectangle, which I'm shading in in green right now. And notice how the other diagonal, which is exactly the same length, is the radius of the circle. It starts at the center of the circle, and it goes all the way to the edge. All right, so both diagonals are exactly the same length, and if one of them is the radius, then you know the other one has to be the radius as well. So that's how we know that the length of side QT is equal to the radius of the circle, which is equal to 6. All right, so now I erase QT and I replace it with a value of 6. All right, so now we have solved for all our sides of the shaded area. So we have 3 pi plus 6 plus 6. Well, we know that 6 plus 6 is equal to 12. Um, so th 3 pi plus 12 is our solution. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to try another one of my math riddles, make sure you check out my next video. The link is in the screen. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in my next one.